we've seen so many miraculous stories here within the riders that ride in our program. You know, the kids are here doing something really fun and they don't necessarily realize how much exercise they're getting or how much they're working. And so once their core strength improves, you automatically see um, changes in behavior, changes in self-esteem and self-confidence. If you just take um, even just a very generic example, but if you take a child who is in a wheelchair for whatever reason, just say maybe they have cerebral palsy or something, they're in a wheelchair, all day long they're physically looking up. They're looking up at their teachers, looking up at their friends, looking up at their parents, their siblings, their peers. If all of a sudden you put them on top of a 16-hand horse, now they're looking down. So not only are they looking down physically on people, but they're also happen to at the exact same time be in control of a 1200 pound animal. So all of a sudden you see sitting up taller, shoulders pulled back, head held high. And then once you open up that diaphragm, then you start getting more language, more expressive language, more receptive language. People are paying attention. People are answering questions. There are many students in our program right now that when they started here, they couldn't ride a bike or they couldn't go on the swings at the park. Um, and now, because their balance has improved um, and their coordination has improved, there's this crossover into their other quote-unquote regular life where they can just go to the park and be like a regular kid. This is like an unspoken thing you see. No one's like pushing for it or... Um, training the shoulders to come back. It just sort of naturally happens, but we see it all the time here.